Hi everyone, this is Jonna Lee from the Scrappy Apple Yard. I thought I'd come to you with a chatty little video today to tell you a little bit about myself. I have my tea here. This is a David's tea cup. These cups are so cool. They change colors when you put your hot beverage in them. Oh, I didn't, I was going to bring, oh, I did bring it. This is the tea I'm drinking. This is an amazing um, little company. She's on Etsy, Amity, A-M-I-T-E-A, -A, and drinking hazelnut cream. And then my favorite is in this little canister. This comes from David's Tea, and it's a, uh, it's Devonshire cream by her that's in there. This is my favorite one. So anyway, I'm a tea lover. I actually didn't like tea until January when I decided to go off sugar and lose weight. I love my sugar. I am a sugar girl, but I realized I was going to have to make some changes. And so I started researching tea and realized the tea bags that we get in the store mostly are just the dust from real tea. Let's see if I can show you what real tea looks like. Yeah, that's what real tea looks like. And if you get the right tea and you put enough honey and creamed honey in it and then top it off with real cream, you can get off sugar. That is how I've got off sugar. And whenever I'm craving sugar, this is what I do. So I go make myself a cup of tea. So anyway, so I'm back for vacation. I have some videos I'm going to record showing you my vacation journaling, what I did on vacation. I still haven't done my vacation journaling, all my journaling I need to do for my vacationing. And then I'm also going to do a video and show you the things that I picked up when we were out junking with my daughter. I, I got some old ledgers and some old ledger papers and um, embroidered pieces and stuff that I'm going to work into junk journals. And I thought I'd show you my journaling supplies and what I take when I travel. It's always interesting going on on the plane. From from here to Las Vegas, my first flight was five hours straight, so I am not one that likes to be bored, so I had to get it all in line. And because of my back issues, it's very humbling, but I have to get a wheelchair when I go to the airport. It's the only way I can travel. Talk about eat pride. Um, but I have to be able to sit there, because I get there two hours early, and have something to do before I get on the plane. So I have to be real organized when I go ahead. And, and the last uh, video I was telling you, I was showing you my bag that I unpacked. I unpacked so many different um, journaling supplies because my bags were too heavy. So I first, my first leg of my trip was Las Vegas. And then from there, uh, my daughter-in-law and my grand, couple of my grandchildren picked me up and we drove out to Pahrump, Nevada. It's where a lot of uh, retirees live. It's out in just a desert. Uh, little desert town and I spent the time out there and then when I went back to Vegas I spent two days with my best friend and she turned 60 this year I turned 55 and so we always try to celebrate our birthday somehow and we went to the Green Valley Ranch Spa and spent a day at the spa which was absolutely divine and then from there I got on an airplane and went to Boise uh, the next leg of my trip to see uh, the rest of my grandchildren. I have 12 grandchildren and my husband has five. And so on this trip, I saw 11 out of the 12 of my grandchildren. Um, my two daughters live in Boise, my two youngest daughters, and then my oldest daughter who lives in North Dakota, she uh, drove down with her little boy. And so I was able to be with all my girls there for a short period. And so I stayed in Nampa, Idaho first with my daughter. And then from there, I went to see my other daughter, and she lives in Star. So, and when I went to, did the second leg of my trip for my grandkids, I went and bought them cheap little watercolor sets. They had them at Walmart because of school supply time. Bought them each a composition notebook, their own paint brushes. And the majority of the time, I sat there with them, and they painted, and I worked in my journals, and we just had a ball. So I had a really, really good trip, but I have to say it was awesome to get home. <laughs> totally awesome to get home. It's hard for me to travel, but um, wouldn't have it any other way. And then when I got home, I found out my son was on his way here. He uh, is moving his family of five kids and his wife here, and... So this is actually my first time to be alone to do some videos um, 
since July 18th. <laughs> so that's why I didn't post any more videos. So I thought uh, that would just be a little intro uh, for you guys about what's going on with me. And I'm hoping to do some process videos too of showing you guys how I journal, um, who inspires me, uh, my Cheek Sparrow collections. I don't know, in the comments below if you guys have any uh, certain things you, you're interested in um, and want to know, just give me a comment and I'll see if I can't accommodate. So anyway, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye ladies and gentlemen.